This is Echoes of Wisdom, the latest Zelda game. And I've been wondering ever since the announcement, ever since I found out that Zelda was the main protagonist, I've been wondering why. Why is Link being sidelined in Zelda? I found out. The developers of the game, they verified that the gimmick of the game, copying and pasting and using different items to do battle and to get around Hyrule and all that kind of stuff, doesn't really mix well with Sword and Shield, which is Link's, that's what Link uses, right? Master Sword, Hylian Shield, but to then whip out the staff all the time to use that, if you will, then it just doesn't mix. So that what they did is they thought, you know, let's do a different protagonist. Let's use Princess Zelda. This is also what I was thinking from the beginning, that they had a, a specific reason to do this, a specific reason to not have Link as a protagonist. Now we know. Let's get to it. This is a walkthrough of Echoes of Wisdom. I've been waiting a long time for this. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hit that subscribe button and let's go. All right, guys, we are starting from the very beginning. I'm right here at the main menu of my Switch. And I'm simply starting the game, and here we go. This is completely from scratch, a brand new game, and I'm as new to this as you guys are. And here we go. Check out the symbols on the cloak. Yes! It's Link! What other way to start the game, right? With our boy Link. Here we go. Did you see how he turns around like that? It's specifically uh, Twilight Princess. Yeah, how he'd always turn around when, when the door shut to whatever room he went in, whatever dungeon he was in. Um, I love that. That little feature. Like I think it's probably in other games, but I remember most from... Uh, Twilight Princess. Here we go. I'm in control now. And it's telling me the Y button. Ah, swing the sword. Ah, B button is jump. I can press jump and yeah, I can do a downward slash. Here we go. Interact with my environment here. I see another button though, the A button. Watch this. Got bombs. Holding down A. Look at that, Bombachu. Cool. All right. And it says X is my. Yep. And C. ZL to do my shield. Watch this. Shoot an arrow at him. There we go. Cool. It's telling me to use my shield. Here we go. Clear the guys. Leave the room. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can hit that box. Look at that. Keys. Alright, here we go. I can uh, Z-target Z them. Pretty cool. There's another one. Using my arrows. Easily take them out. Here we go. Right, let's get up there. Here we go. I have a feeling I need to go this way. Uh, two more. One. Boom. All right, here we go. Yeah. 
he got one hit on me. Oh, look at it. I can actually lift an item, place it, and toss it. That's cool. Link, running into danger, running to save the princess. He's such a boss hero. And there she is. So, it's you again. I don't believe we met. Ever the tr troublesome one. Only this time, your presence serves me. Now, I'll end you both. Dude. Mr. Brave, here we go. They put up that barrier. Doesn't it remind you of Twilight Princess? Right? That that, uh, that barrier. And even the rift magic uh, looks a lot like Twilight Princess, right? The, the Twilight. It's a, a lot of, like... Of course, Zelda being up high in that crystal reminds me of part of Ocarina of Time. You know, right before the end, Ganon has her... In that it takes her away, right? And then we have to go save her from the tower. So a lot of a lot of kind of like callbacks, I, I, I think. I don't want to read too much into this, but I think it's pretty obvious. Check it out. Use my shield to block those. Shield, lock. Okay, this guy's all right. Here you go. Fireball. Here we go. Let's try to get around it and jump. Yeah. Got some good hit. Oh, okay. I should have waited for that one here. Fireball. Fireball. He's good. Probably doing it. Oh, okay. Fireball. Let's go around. Attack him, attack him, get him. Yeah! Alright, pig boy. <laughs> I have to admit, this, this game's a lot better than I thought it would be. Princess. Rift is over. Yeah, save her. Good job, Link. Oh, bye, Link. <laughs> Link. I miss him already. Alright, we broke free. Thanks to Link. But yeah, we you know we, we did the rest, obviously. I'm not discounting that. What's this? Also reminiscent of so many Zelda games, right? The mystical little fairy like entity that uh is You got the swordsman cloak. This is a hooded cloak that the swordsman in green dropped. It would almost completely cover your face if you wore it. Uh oh. I have a feeling. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. It's time to run. We're just barely, barely eluding that. That music, very Twilight Princess, by the way. That really fast, rhythmic stuff behind. Can you guys hear it? Almost like a swarm of bees. That do -do 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 -do. That's very Twilight Princess. Hmm. A lot of influences here. Which I'm cool with. Twilight Princess was pretty sweet. I haven't played it in a while. I need to play it again. Do a walkthrough or something. I think I have enough of my plate. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I should do that too. Oh, wait. How many hours are in the day again? All right, I'll shut up. Here we go. Title screen. Music 
had that little twill in it, like, um, like Tears of the Kingdom, right? When we're falling through the clouds and the title screen comes on. Falling from one of the Sky Islands and She has her guards, her castle guards. So the princess is fine for now. You know, I'm into this. Right away. Of course, there we go, the growing threat. Do you see that? Right away, Echoes of Wisdom just sucks you right into the story. Like, immediately, immediately, you're Link and you're playing and you're sucked into the story and now, an effortless handoff to our main protagonist, Princess Zelda. And here we are, real close to her home. You can see the uh, the symbol up there. Love it. Princess Zelda, you're safe. What a relief. You're not injured, are you? We're sick with worry. The whole week is a long time to be missed. Being, I'm messing this up at all. We thought, we thought you'd been stolen away, like all the others. The soldiers search for you every day. Princess, play with me, play with me. I'm so glad you're back, but now one of those icky rifts open up here too. Yeah. Icky rift, huh? Princess Zelda, now that we've arrived, please allow me to welcome you back as well. May I suggest you promptly speak with the king? Oh. Mm. I'm sure he'll be deeply relieved to hear that you've been returned safe and sound. That's just my chair squeaking. Here we go, guys. Hyrule Castle Town. And I have control again. Which I'm sure I could talk to them if I wanted to. Uh, let's go look around. Very reminiscent of the other, like, quarter view games, right? Let's see what's going on. Yeah. We've seen this before. This is no big surprise. Th this type of... Uh, Aspect ratio or the, this get this camera work and the, the, the game engine of this kind of quarter view uh, But the shading and the 3d work is a lot better than before obviously All right oh, Look at that as we get closer to the areas look at the top of the screen I was kind of blurred and then it comes into view They're kind of focusing Our perspective in our that what we see in just the center of some of these areas and then that and then it comes and it, oh that's really interesting hmm must be a, a reason for that Hyrule Castle well if we're gonna see the king one would assume no uh, Ganondorf this time screwing things up that's a good thing oh oh Sweet child, it's Impa! <laughs> yeah! Ah, oh, sweet child, such a relief to see you safe. Welcome home, princess. Dude, it's Impa! Awesome. I must say, it's funny, she's ancient now, but Princess Zelda's still young. I could speculate on that, but I won't. I'm gonna keep reading. I must say, your loyal Impa felt so flustered that I could not save you myself. On top of your kidnapping, Rifts have been appearing all over. It's a source of, source of much fear. I am certain your return will be a great comfort to the people during these troubling times. You're always quite spirited, though I didn't expect you to make it back on your own. Well, I'm overcome with emotion that I've spoken out of turn. Off, off you go now. The king awaits you. All right, Zimpa. In the meantime, I'll draw a nice hot bath for you. And then you can enjoy it when you're ready. Here we go. See the sunlight coming through the windows there? Very cool. Very cool. All right. Again, I have not seen any of this. <sighs> Princess, I'm relieved you're back. General Wright. And then Minister Left. Oh, cute. General Right and Minister Left. Oh, Princess, what an absolute joy to see you safe and sound. 
Despite that joy, I feel ashamed that we were unable to find you. On behalf of Minister Left and me, please accept our apologies, Princess. Mm. Here's the king. General Wright, Minister Left. I appreciate your sentiments, but let's not dull this joyous moment with our regrets. Zelda, my dear daughter, you did well to return to us. Come closer so I may look upon you. Ah, I'm so relieved. You are healthy and whole and well. Hmm. So tell us, Princess Zelda, what happened to you? Oh. A swordsman in green saved you and then fell the beast quite the hmm. tail. But after defeating the monster, the swordsman was taken hmm. away in a rift. It's him we have to thank for saving your life. That's right. We have to thank... Thank you. Let's not forget Link. So, he was pulled away in a rift. Another one stolen away. <sighs> Indeed. I hope he is safe. Hmm. We gotta save him. Stolen away, a tidy phrase in a terrible fate. Being taken by hmm. a rift. An unsettling phenomenon. Our fair Hyrule has continually been plagued with these rifts and disappearances. As you know, rifts have been appearing for a long time, claiming our young ones. Indeed, so many children have been stolen away. We've remained vigilant. But despite our best efforts, we've been, un we've been able to prevent the rifts from appearing. Ultimately, those who've experienced losses have been left to contend with their grief. Now, I've been receiving reports about people disappearing from every corner of Hyrule. <laughs> And it isn't just children anymore. Adults are disappearing mm. too. What could be causing such an uptick? Mm. For now, we should also work on finding the swordsman in the green tunic. And with haste. That's right. Save Link. <gasps> Hashtag save Link. Your Majesty. Ha. What is it, soldier? Ha. Urgent news. The rifts, they're causing serious trouble. Oh no. Please, soldier, what are the details? Ah, of course, your majesty. Okay, well that's, that's, that's pretty bad. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine, anyone? I've noticed... <laughs> Through the years, this convergence, where I've seen influences from Mario and Zelda, and Zelda and Mario, whether it just be jumping, or stuff like that, or just game mechanics, different design elements, uh, creature effects, that kind of thing. Anyway, that just reminded me of Mario Sunshine. Back to the story. Firstly, we, we received word from someone in the southern region was swallowed up by the rift. <laughs> then, we also received news of dark monsters attacking people in Hyrule Field. That is troubling news indeed. Thank you for your report, soldier. Tell the rest of your battalion to prepare for departure immediately. Yes, your majesty. General Minister. General Minister. Sire. Minister Left. Continuing your investigations into the rift phenomenon. I am expecting you to find a way to save any and all who have vanished into the rifts. You can count on me, sire. General... General Wright, I'll leave the monsters to you. Prepare your troops and head into battle. That's right. You gotta fight it. Beat off that evil. On my honor, sire. This crisis must be dealt with. Continue looking into the rifts and locate those who've been lost. It's good king. Oh crap. Without a throne. Dude, he saved his daughter. He saved Zelda, so Link and then Dad both saved her. Love it. Heroes. And oh crap, what do we have? 
What do we have here? Rift clones? Hmm. Guards! <clears throat> Lock her up immediately. Rift clones. Oh. Lovely. Lock up the princess? Mm -hmm. My daughter created the rift you see behind me. We cannot leave such a horrible thing here. Mm. Disturbing though it may be, General Ripe and Minister Left were both witnesses as well. Now they're evil too. At least evil clones. I think they're like clone type shadow. Well, don't just stand there. Lock her up at once. Huh? Treason. Yes, your majesty. Although I guess it's not treason if... I'll shut up. <laughs> and here... Oh, been here before, haven't we? Uh, let's see, Wind Waker. Twilight Princess. Uh, even Breath of the Wild. And you know where we go into the dungeons of Hyrule Castle, right? Breath of the Wild, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, we find the, what, the Master Sword down in that region. Uh, what else do we find? The shield in one of the games? But I digress. You guys know. You guys have been there in the uh, ancient, horrible uh, dungeons of Hyrule Castle in those two games. But of course, being locked up like this reminds me a lot of Wind Waker, right? Where we have to escape. Um, there might be other games. You guys shout at me. You leave me a comment. Tell me what I'm missing. Back to the story. <laughs> Why did we lock up the princess? What could the king be thinking? Huh. Haven't you heard? Apparently, she's the one who created the rift in the throne room. Oh. What? There's no way. So then, she might also be responsible for all the other rifts? That's some dangerous speculation. Oh. Yeah, well, they're just stupid guards, I guess. Uh, yeah, they'll keep popping up so long as she's around. Oh, wow. Now there's even a word the king plans on putting her to death to save the kingdom. Uh. I just can't believe the princess would be the cause of those things. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm back in control. All right. So our story cutscenes are over. And then there's no opening. I spoke too soon. See me? My name is Try. That blue monster, he caught me too. And I've been watching you since then. I followed you here to the castle. Oh yeah, I should ask, what's your name? Zelda, got it. Zelda, your life is in danger if you stay here. The person who put you in here, the king, right? He told someone to hurry and prepare you for execution. Dun, dun, dun. Once I heard that, I figured I'd better tell you. The king and the other two got pulled into the rift. Three that came out, they seemed weird. Oh, you noticed they seemed weird too? You were like they were imposters? What an odd word. Anyway, it's too dangerous for you to stay here. I think if we could save the people who've been taken into the rifts, we could reveal the truth. But none of those people will be able to get out on their own. We have seen them together, Zelda. But first, let's save you. Let's get you out of here. Alright, so she can just pass through solid objects. That's cool. You can't get through the bars? Huh, that's interesting. Let me help. That's it. Sweet. And we have a guy. Oh, yeah. You borrowed the tri rod. 
It's a mysterious rod, the same color as Tri. It's warm to the touch. Sweet. We got it, guys. <laughs> I can create echoes of things in this world. I'm not sure what, most, what will be most useful to you, but I'm sure this will come in handy. Go up to something that's shimmering and then press ZR. All right, here we go. Oh, like that right there. That was easy. Pressed uh, ZR, right, on my uh, on my controller, and uh, you know, <laughs> let me explain what the buttons are. Um, and we learned an echo. Good job. That's how you learn things. Anything can be learned to be an echo with Y. Okay, um, let's echo something. That's cool. Now, is it? Look at that. Perfect job. What you created is called an echo. Do they? I wonder if they time out. We'll, we'll, I'll, I've already thought about this. Um, wondering if the echoes are, you know, if they if they ha if they time out, basically. If they go away after a certain... Oh, I'll shut up. Let's get back to the story. <laughs> then press ZR when, you, when you're near an echo to erase it. Okay. So you can erase it. You can hold if you want to erase all the echoes. Right. Things learn you are with why the number of things can also depends on tries. Ah, okay. So it's limited. It's kind of like magic power, like a magic meter. There's only so much available at a time. So I just got rid of that with ZR. Okay, I made another one. And another one. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, cool. All right, so what if I put... Okay, let's try this. And there's our little chime. Awesome. Now we can escape. All right. So, you know, I just built, what, three little uh, tables, stools? Um, and then I climbed up just using them as stairs. Kind of like we've seen in the game trailers. Let's go. That was cool. All right. So we, we've done our first echoes. <sighs> Left or right? Which way? Left. Uh oh. All right, there's a guard there. I have a feeling this is how they're going to teach me a lot about teach us. This is the, how they're going to teach us a lot about how to use echoes. Right now we have just the one. So w what I'm thinking is this: we don't want to go in front of him. However, if we build little stairs. Booyah. We can walk behind him. Ah, new stuff to echo. We now have a crate. Cool. Did you see that? Zelda, you uh, can see echoes you've learned by holding down that button. Uh, from there, you can press... Okay. There it is. Okay, so I'm pressing the, the right and go between them like that. Also, I saw the plus sign. Yep, here we go. Where I can now, yep, have a, the notebook shows me I can just tab over. Cool. All right. So we've done an echo. So here's problem solving here. If I do this and then use the box echo. Like that. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Oh, I've done it now. All right. Delete. Okay. All right. Now let's use this. Step, step, and is that enough? No, it's not enough. Darn it. Am um, I going to do another? I need another step. Oh, that's good. 
step, step, step. But I can lift that. What, what would lifting that do? It destroys it. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Let's try. I think I've been caught. Dun, dun, dun. And we're back in the jail cell. How did you manage to get out? Well, whatever. Okay, real quick. If you guys hear any loud voices, yelling, uh, laughter in the background, it's not the game. I'll tell you what's going on. In my living room right now is my son, who's back from North Carolina. He recently got married, but he's back in town for an event with my daughter, her fiancé, and my youngest son. The four of them are all playing Among Us on their phones with my other son who's still in North Carolina with his wife. So now there's like six of them, four of them here, two of them in North Carolina, all playing among us on their phones and they're being extremely loud. I just wanted to do a quick intermission to t let you know that that's what's going on. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, they're being loud, but hey, they're having a lot of fun. Here we go. All right, so we, uh, we can now use Use our, um, we have this little stool or whatever this is, a little table, and we're going to hop over. We're definitely going left and through the door. So yeah, my goodness sakes, they are going crazy. They are going crazy out there. This scene rem remind you of anything? This scene reminds me of, of course, Ocarina of Time, where we are on our way to see Princess Zelda, right? Early stages of the game, right after we leave the uh, forest for the first time. Ah, we got a crate. Or a wooden box. I have a wooden box echo. And now that we've learned that, we can press the right button on our digital pad and then we can select, which is a lot like uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, right? Where we can bring up our sword or shield, stuff like that. So I'm pressing right and say I can switch to box. And I can create a wooden, wooden crate or wooden box with that. And then delete them. If I want to go back to this, I can choose that. So, yeah, this part's a lot like... Oh, let's hide there. A lot like Ocarina of Time. With the guards going around in circles and we have to carefully go behind them. Of course, that, that was actually really good practice for this. Very similar feel to it. Very similar. Oh. So, the other day I broke a pot to test a theory and General Wright came running. Oh. I'm sure he gave you a whole earful about it. Actually, no. I threw the pot kind of far, and he ran to where it broke. He's a simple man. All right, so that's kind of a clue that we can throw pots, and wherever we do throw them, the guards will then run to that location. That's sort of the idea here. So let's try something. Oh, by the way, let's do something first. Let's learn a pot. Alright, so now we have three items. Let's see, we have Echo of that Table, Wooden Box, and a Hyrule Castle Pot. We now have all those Echoes. Let's have some fun here. Let me see how we can get these guys moving. Not what I meant to do, but let's let's do this. All right, we got his attention. Nice. Okay, cool. Now what we can do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do a pot here. 
throw it here, get his attention to walk that direction, and we go right around his back, and we made it through. Okay, let's see what's next on the horizon here. Impa! Princess! I'm glad you're safe. You're not hurt, are you? I can imagine what His Majesty is thinking. Claiming that you created the rift is preposterous. What? The king, general, and minister are all imposters? And your friend Tri made you a tri rod? Was it? I see. And Tri says, Zelda can make use of the rod's power. And Impa's just looking around. And where might this tribe be now? Are you here all on your own? Okay. I think you're the only one who can see me, Zelda. So interesting. The world is truly a mysterious place. Well, come what may. I will always support you, Princess, no matter what mis mysteries unfold. Aww. We better not dally. The phony king is speaking of executing you. We need to leave, and quickly. You'll stand out in your current attire, so I brought something for you to change into. Aww. Oh, what is that blue fabric sticking out of your pocket there? Huh? I see. It's the cloak from the swordsman. <laughs> can you, I don't know if you guys can hear that. They are just hooting and hollering out there. Anyway, they're all enjoying their own game. Back to ours. Back to our story. The size seem workable. It'll do a fine job of shrouding you. Quickly now, before it's spotted. So she's going to use the cloak. That link cast aside, right? There we go. That looks familiar. You got a disguise. It's light and flowy and conceals your identity nicely. And it smells like mus a musty, dr musty dresser. Wow, I can't talk tonight. Spin around quickly by pressing R. You should be able to head along now without a worry. Oh. The princess is missing. Find her. Oh. Hmm. It seems we have company. Leave this to me. Impa's great. Yeah. Lady Impa, who's that over there? Isn't that the princess? If it is, you must stand aside this instant. Oh? Stand aside, hmm? No, I don't believe I'll be doing that. Attack of the Clones, Yoda. Reminds me of that. Here, Princess, take this with you. You received a log. This log was given to you by Impa, and there's a folded map inside. We got a map. Yes, we got a map. Yeah. Nice. Make your way to the house marked. Then tell, say that Impa sent you, and they'll surely help you. Huh? This way. Ooh. Ahead, you'll find a shortcut that leads out of the castle. Use it to make your escape. Yeah. Hurry, princess! That looks familiar, right? The, uh, you know, the log and the, the, the book that we have in uh, Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild with the little locator mark. Uh, you know, I love that, you know, you can see these little design motifs carried over. Very cool. Already in this room. You guys see it? Right over, well, you'll see it. Um, oh. 
There we go. We have learned a decorative shrub echo. So here are our echoes. The pot, the table, the box, and now a shrub. We, <laughs> we can produce a plant. Uh, let's see what this will do for us. So we can climb up. Oh, cool, we can walk across them. All right, so let's try this. And it makes a nifty little bridge for us. Ooh. That's one of the icons, by the way. If you guys go to Nintendo Online, in, you know, where you can get icons to make your own, uh, the, the bed is one of them. And I was kind of wondering, but now I know. It's like, what is it, like the fifth thing we learned? Fourth thing? It's the fifth thing we learned. So, yeah, interesting, a, a bed echo. Does that mean we can sleep anytime we want? Hmm. Or we use it like a bridge. Oh, I see what they're doing. You guys see that? Okay, let's, let's bring up... Nope, let's try... Look at that, guys. The bed acts like a bridge. Try. A stepping bridge. Uh, booyah. Nice. Okay. This is pretty cool. Um, okay. Oh. Guys, look at that. that that's the spin move. Now I know what they were talking about. We got a rupee. That's nice. Look at that. So it acts kind of like a sword slash, right? I'm, I'm now cutting away grass and easily mowing them down. Not bad. That's it. That's very handy. It's almost faster and smoother than the sword. Not bad. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's go down. No way. What was I saying earlier? Like Mario type influence, right? I mean, I mean that's what this reminds me of. Come on, uh, you know, guys, leave me a comment. If there's a Zelda game that had this kind of thing in it, I want to know. But it totally reminds me of Mario. Come on, just like a Mario. Okay, what do I need here? This game has been masterful in its ability to teach. The gimmick and the game mechanics <laughs> organically and fluidly. And look at this, guys. We have a boulder echo. Uh, that could be a piece of rock. So now we have six a table, bed, shrub, pot, box, boulder. All right, so we have a boulder. the moment. Yeah, they are definitely 
teaching us as we go, right? I mean, video game 101, but it's still very cool. Okay, these boxes don't feel like they're gonna go down, right? What would a boulder do? It'll do that. Nice. Here we go. And you can see we have an air gauge there. How much available for air? Underwater. Man, and look at this, back to this view. Very cool. You know, I'm along for the ride, man. I, uh, I had my reservations. I've never cared for games with this perspective. But I'm enjoying this. The gimmick helps, uh, but I'm, I'm enjoying, I'm liking this. I, um, I, I love the open world, I love Ocarina. And then fast forward all the way to tears, right? You know, and not, not counting this type of game in between. So this is a big deal that I'm playing this. But I'm liking it, which is exciting. Another rift. Back to the story. Rifts have appeared occasionally for a very long time. Mending them was our job. Ooh, so a little backstory on try now. Except my power alone is not enough to take a large rift like this one. Let's get away from it now. All right, Sonic commercial here. All right, here we go. Are we going to have to do another run? I wonder... Yeah, here it comes. And uh, end of the drink. Yep. Oh, look at this. This is cool. This is cool. Oh, look at, look at, look at her eyes. Poor. Of course, um, Ocarina, right? Coming out of Zora's domain. Zora's fountain. You know, the river that flows down through there. Um, I, just, I, I just keep kind of recalling older Zelda games where I'm seeing just little little parts. Little things that remind me of past games. All right, you're awake. Good, let's go. Quest is updated. Let's check it out. All right, so here's our log. That's where we are. And this is where we're going. If we click on it with A, it will... Um, Ooh, what's this? We have a rock echo. Got a new echo. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, that was cool. Just into the water. Yep. Just trying different button combinations. Just curious about some stuff. All right. That will, all right, that will not break a box. The spin, the spin move. Just curious. Yeah, so that's definitely not a sword kind of thing. All right, here we go. Another rock. Two boxes. Where are we? gotta be somewhere around the castle right maybe the map thingy <laughs> that person gave you help us figure it out yeah map thingy where are we oh, we are in the southern beach yeah oh my goodness yeah look at the size of the map and then see the little quadrant we're in there the bottom left yeah so we're really at the beach. It looks it looks beachy. Oh, what do we have here? He looks familiar, doesn't he, guys? It noticed you. Zelda, can you fight monsters? Let's find out. Uh, let's try. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, throwing a rock does work on those guys, of course, right? 
Oh, wait, let's collect that. Let's learn that. What do we have? What do we have? A Zol Echo. Okay, Zol. Interesting. Uh, did you learn to echo that monster? Defeating new monsters leaves a shimmer, which allows you to learn them as thank you did. Monsters learned with ZR can be echoed with Y. You can direct your echoes to attack her. Okay, so we can use that to attack other people. Okay. They are. Dude, dude, check them out. Check out how they're attacking. Oh, that was cool. They're attacking the other ones like they're kind. That was. Attack! Oh, that's epic. I love that. Watch this, watch this. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, baby. Okay, I am loving that. I, I love that. That is cool. Oh, can, can I learn this guy? Right. Okay. Dude, there's a chest up there. There is a chest up there. What can we make happen here? Okay. Um, that's pretty tall, but not tall enough for that. Let's try... Boom, boom, and... Yeah, baby! Okay, all right. I'll take it. Especially since we earned that, right? Some next level echo stuff there. I know, it's not that impressive, but still. It, it was cool, it worked. All right. What if we do that? Oh yeah, baby. Can we learn these guys? <laughs> See here, Echo. I have to admit, I'm a sucker for this. I am a sucker for this. I can't... I can't believe I'm liking this this much. Um, it's a new spin on open world. Right? Because, you know, open world, we could kind of do anything we wanted and... What I, I, let me, I'll try, let me give some, some thought to what I mean by that. But in that, this environment, we can do so much with it, right? Interact with it, clone it, create echoes, use those echoes, and you know what I mean? It's, it's a, kind of like a new spin on, oh, would you stop? Attack! <laughs> all right, all right. And, oh my goodness. And then we just kill you. You served me now. I'm going to send you to uh, to the void. You're not... All right, so we can dive with A. That's what the screen says. Yep, yeah, that, that works pretty well. Nice. Um, I never cared for the diving in Ocarina. Remember when we had to dive for rupees at the bottom of the uh, waterfall? And Zora's. I mean, you know, it was. It wasn't the easiest, right? That swimming underwater part. Dude, is that a heart container or a piece of heart? It's fine. And, and can I even get it? Let's see. Oh, crap. I'm running. I'm gonna. Great. And now, right when I need hearts. Um. Oh, wow. That's going to take some doing, isn't it? To get... No, I don't think we can get up there yet. 
Uh, we got we got here. Good. Let's get. Um, will this work? Yes, I think it probably will. Yep. Okay. Nope. Oh, you can't. Yeah, you see that? Look at that. You can rest there. No, that's good. Am I getting back hearts? Dude, yeah. So you can take out of bed any time. I assume. Most times. Rest, and we're getting back hearts, just like we do in the other games. Right? When, you know, when we go to the stables or an inn or something like that. That's cool. That is cool. Okay. This is this is cool. I have to admit. And that's a pretty easy bridge to make right there. Love it. Okay. Oh, hello now. Little spin attack on them. Should I pick up a rock? Yeah, why not? I don't have to clone the sucker. I can just use it. I don't have to use an echo. I can I just pick the suckers up. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see you later. All right, what do we have here, guys? Let's go down. Oh, all right, we're back to a side-scrolling 2D look. Yeah, you know, what I don't have yet, I, I really wanted to do my ZL and shoot an arrow like Link. <laughs> We're not Link. Yeah. Um, uh, can you say Mario? Come on. Come on. Look, look at that. I know, it, it's kind of silly to make comparisons like that, but it, I mean, look at this level! We're underground, and anyway. All right, time to clone a... If I press the right button. Attack! Excuse me. Attack! Yeah, I love it! Oh, I love having my own monsters to fight monsters. This is cool. All right, here we go. Um, all right, we are in the southern what? Who the heck knows? But see where we are? There? Oh, guys, I can zoom just like um, the other games. Using my uh, my right stick to zoom. Okay, and you can see other other subsections, right? This map is actually made up of, it almost looks like, you know, United States, where you have the different, you know what it looks like. Um, okay. A little spin action here. This is cool. I gotta stop saying that. I am enjoying this, though. I didn't, I've never cared for this kind of game. Sorry. I'm a 3D guy. I like my Zelda 3D, and I like my Mario 2D or like this. Uh, mostly 2D is how I like Mario. It just works for me. But, and I like Zelda in full 3D, right? We're in the Southern Village. But, I'm enjoying this, and um, it doesn't feel tedious or weird, and, and I say that, I mean, okay, okay, okay. I'm cloning that. Yeah, baby! We have a meat echo! So check out all our echoes, guys. That's right, I can create food out of thin air. You're welcome, world. Nobody will be hungry ever again. Oh, meat flows. Hey, you want some meat? No? Hey, kid, you hungry? Are you, are, here, here, are you hungry, kid? Come on, come on. Fine. It's not real meat anyway. 
That's like Bill Gates meat. It's just a clone of the real thing. Right? You know, it's just like that, that fake meat they make in factories now. Not the real thing. Wow, that... Forgive me. I went off the rails there. Okay. Let's learn this. This is a pot echo. Different than a castle pot echo, obviously. That looks like a Pooh Bear honey pot, by the way. Well, anything else? So check it out. What I'm learning in real time is that by exploring, okay, looking for shimmering items, like I wish that axe was shimmering right now, I could clone it. I, I create an echo, whatever. I, I'm gonna say clone a lot, guys. That cooking pot. You guys see my cooking videos yet? They're on my channels. Check them out. I'm I'm now cooking Zelda recipes, and uh, I should look around for inspiration. By the way, dude, look at that cute little hat. Anyway, um, of you know of a recipe to make, because yeah, I'm making real recipes, guys. I, I cook and I love Zelda, and so I say that because. This is just like the other games, too. There's a well. We're going around, we're exploring, and we're finding things that we can clone. What do we have? You got five jars of floral nectar. Nice. You can recover hearts. Cool. That paid off to go down that. Electro Apple? This item can, can be used to recover hearts, but is there is cooking. Look, look, right there. More effective when mixed into a drink. All right, well, you know, there's at least mixology. Um, dude, I'm getting excited about this game. Can you tell? <laughs> can you tell? I, uh, I... Oh, yo! Yo, yo! I got a trampoline. What a great gift. You can play with... Oh, dude, we need to clone that. Thanks, kid. All right, so we just learned something else. Check it out. Here are all of our items. We have a crap load of items now, which is sweet. And now we can clone a trampoline. Hi. The rift is nearby. It's huge. It's also terrifying being so close to our village. It could be in the South Forest, too. A strange old man lives there. I hope he's okay. Me too. I think that's a big hint. We need to go see an old man in the forest. Hi. A rift swallowed up one of my neighbors. There must be something we can do besides pacing around. Okay. Uh, we can learn a sign? Okay. Sign of the times. All right. What's this? What is that? I was almost hoping there was like Tingle in disguise. I would love to see Tingle right now. Hey, Zelda. Have a look at this. The waypoint. Dude, we can warp to places. This is the waypoint warp. And they appear all over the place and we can travel. Like a shrine, right? You know, you know. That, I had no idea about this either. I had no, okay, that's cool. Okay, I'm starting to really love this game. Ooh, what's going on here? Hey! Shout if you can hear me! Uh, He's freaked out. Uh, who are you? Oh no, doesn't matter. Can you please, please help us? Er, uh, hey, uh, that cloak looks a lot like Link's. He knows Link. Are any cloaks... Wait. Uh, Ak, what am I doing? There's no time for this. My wife got hints to why he lost his wife. That's why he's all freaked out. Wife, can you hear me? I'm right here. Okay, so his wife is gone. That was probably that cutscene we saw earlier, by the way. Remember that? Yep. 
Uh, we saw that there was that cut scene where the soldier was reporting to the king. Um, I think that was the woman that got swallowed up by the rift. It was his wife. All right, so the rift down here at the bottom left of the screen. You can see that, obviously. And we have stopped. Are we... I'm sensing lots of creatures in this area. I think this place is marked... Ah, okay, I think we're getting close. You guys check our map. Yeah, we are getting pretty close. Looks like we need to go north from here. Let's get something to attack these guys. Our own forces. Take them out. Take them out, boys. Take them out. Yeah, baby. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. Looks like we need to cross the stream. I'm going to look over here real quick, though. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Thank you, buddy. Good job. All right. Oh, I was hoping that was a stick we could... Uh, check the map. I don't want to get too... Yeah, let's go back. I don't want to get too far off course. That is, like, my new favorite thing. Having my own forces. I love that. I don't know why. I just love it. Okay. It's the simple things. I'm a simple person. I can't help it. Uh, will my spin hurt a pot now? Okay. Curious about that. Whoa, what is this? A white flame. What happens if they... Ooh, no, that does not work. Okay. Um, will a rock do it? Did I try, try the rock? He's on fire. I need something to fight fire. Fire! Fire! Okay. Nope. Let's just keep going this way. Okay. We're just gonna sail on through here. Oh. oh I need that fire. I need that fire to light the torch. You see that, guys? Crap. Crap, get... Get him, boys. Get him, boys. Good job, good job, guys. No! Alright, I need food. supposed to yet. Maybe... Maybe we're not supposed to catch him yet. Maybe I'm in this tunnel too early. This cave too early. I could be. You guys can tear me apart in the comments if you want. I, again, I'm discovering this in real time with you. So, uh, back to the map. That's what I thought. Something up here. So, um... Sorry for the sidetrack, guys. Although, hey, we're discovering and learning together. Well, crud, this is not the way. Another Electro Apple. Okay. Jeff for the monsters hiding in the grass. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see you. Oh, look at that snake. Another cave entrance. Remember, we're looking for some... Oh, crap. Mean to do that. 
Did we just get a new thing? No. This way, isn't it? Can we go back this way? Hmm. Was this where we were supposed to go? Looks like the rift is blocking the door. Zelda, my role is to mend rifts. I have lots of friends that do the same. We all work together, fixing up rifts. Normally my friends fix them quickly, so it's weird that this one is still here. I wonder if something happened to them. Great, we have to go rescue his friends now too. I already have Link to rescue. And half of Hyrule, now, fine. Zelda, will you investigate with me? Yeah, sure, why not? I need another quest. Wow, I'm being sarcastic, forgive me. Uh, I'm guessing my friends are in the rift, and we, if we find them, we can mend this thing quickly. <gasps> Did he just say what I thought he said? Let's head this way. We need to find an entry point. Guys, I think we're going in. I've heard whispers about this. All right, so our quest is updated, guys. Ooh, I think I think I see it on the map. Probably right there. I mean, guys, look at that. You can set a pin. Uh, that look familiar? So it has a similar kind of map pin structure and layout and marking system that we're used to from Breath and from Tears. That's cool. And that guy looks like an orc. Oh, look at that. These guys love their meat. I knew this would come in handy. Come eat some meat, dude. That's cool. Oh, look, we got a waypoint. That sound, and like that point, um, what are they that, I forgot, are they called idols? Um, Skyward Sword? You know, the, the little points that you can uh, warp to? Also reminds me of that a lot, kind of like Skyward Sword. Yeah, got influence there. Cool, all right. Is this it? I can sense my friends in there. But they can't move. It seems like they It seems like they're trapped. If that's the case, they won't be able to mend the rifts at all. I think we'll have to go in there and help them. Then we can deal with this rift properly. We can save them if we work together, Zelda. So, what do you say? in there now. Let's go save my friends. Let's check them out. This is cool, guys. Here we go. Is this still world that we've heard so much about or heard about? Come on! This is so Skyward Sword and Twilight, right? The kind of alternate version of the... 
there's a lot, a lot of things that we're seeing kind of bubble up from the past games here. Uh, you, you guys get it. I don't need to over-explain it. You know I could, but I won't. Um, yeah, this reminds me of Twilight. Uh, no, this reminds me a lot of, of Skyward Sword. And I always hated that, by the way. When you'd have to go collect those things. Um, I, I just hated that part of Skyward. Um, it felt, I felt very claustrophobic. Um, like things, I didn't, I didn't like it. I liked it when we got back to the, re although the regular forest was kind of boring, the forest level. I enjoyed the other, I mean, Skyward Sword, I, I want to replay it. Man, I want to replay it. I have it right here. I have it. I have the game. So I, uh, been meaning to replay it. I thought about doing a walkthrough and then, uh, then Wisdom came out, right? And I, you know, I wanted to do Echoes. So, um... Check it out, guys. This is where we're going to leave it for now. It means so much that you guys are here. And that you're doing this walkthrough with me. And so far, I am digging this game. Didn't think I would. I'm excited that I am. Because of, A, I spent money on it. B, I really thought a walkthrough of this would be fun. Also, that... I had my concerns, watch my previous videos about this game, and in my recent podcast entry for uh, the Labor Experience podcast, I asked, you know, is it going to be a girl boss game? Are they fridging Link? What are the reasons? And I was asking a question. I wasn't making any broad statements, generalizations, or assumptions, or judgments about Nintendo. I wouldn't do that. I kind of trust Nintendo. As much as, like, I mean, more than most of the other companies like this. So, because I do trust them, because they have adhered to pretty good values, making quality, quality games throughout the years, I knew that they wouldn't do this if they didn't have a reason. And to recap, yes, they do. The gimmick of using the tri-rod and being able to make echoes of things and being able basically to copy and paste your environment to use you, what we just did would not have worked very well with the shield and sword of Link, right? Um, that's the explanation from the game developers. That makes sense to me. That makes this a wholly different game, completely different game. And yet there's so many echoes. There are so many echoes from previous Zelda installments, um, themes, uh, different level designs, just different waypoints and the map markings and, and all these different things. You got the stuff we just saw that these echoes and bubbling up of uh, ideas and concepts and game mechanics from the previous Zelda games endears me to this immediately. It works. It works because I love those games. And when I see these now come into Echoes of Wisdom as echoes of the pre previous games, um, I'm on board. And you guys, I mean, I'm excited. You can tell I'm excited. Um, I'm really looking forward to part two. Join me for it. Should be out pretty soon, hopefully. But this has been part one, Echoes of Wisdom walkthrough. I'm Loudboy. This is the Loudboy Experience. Hit that subscribe button, guys. I appreciate you being here. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And I hope you have a really good night. Take care, guys. Bye.